So here we are with Rob Cooper. Uh, I'll let you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your background. Okay. Well, uh, I've been working in security now for, I'd say, about 15 years. I started as an infrastructure consultant. And by infrastructure, back in those days, it pretty much meant uh, you would be standing up a web presence or you would be attaching your email system to the Internet. Things that were not uncommon, but that we didn't really put into a specific bucket. Um, and security naturally grew out of that and out of networking and out of connectivity. Um, now, when we talk about infrastructure in particular, it's quite a challenge being an infrastructure consultant at a development company. Okay. Now, Microsoft's fairly mature. We know this, and, and it's been around now for 25 plus years. And we, uh, you'll probably be cutting some of this part out, 25 plus years, and is very focused on product development and is centered around the developer. The developer is kind of the key, um, the key individual, the key owner of intellectual property at this company. So because of that, all products and all internal projects tend to take a development-centric view, which is okay, but it presents certain challenges for somebody who's in infrastructure. Yes. So, what are some of those challenges, or what do we really mean by infrastructure? Let's say we're developing Microsoft Exchange, and Exchange supports certificate authentication, and it supports uh, AES encryption. Actually, I don't think it does use AES, but of course it supports certificates. Uh, but it also supports, let's say, clear text authentication. Okay. Well, that may be there just for down-level clients, but when you get to implementation, when you talk about infrastructure, it becomes how is that product configured in our environment. Uh, Exchange supports some of the most robust um, encryption methods out there, yet because it has down-level support as well, uh, it can be easy to configure it in a very insecure way. Okay. I'm picking on the Exchange guys specifically because they actually do a really, really good job of staying away from some of those dumb decisions that, uh, that, that might be in a more, uh, let's say, rookie project. So, it gets very challenging when, when people are dealing with specific implementation decisions. Uh, products may support a number of very sophisticated defenses against uh, uh, data integrity losses or confidentiality losses, mm -hmm. but the specific configuration of those items becomes very critical once you talk about implementation. And that's really the core of an infrastructure review is that implementation. Uh, you may be dealing with very, very sensitive information, for example. And uh, if you put that on a web server without, say, SSL protection uh, or authentication of any kind, that information is going to be open to the whole wide world. Finders, keepers. It'll, it'll probably end up on a search engine before long. On the other hand, it's, it's relatively trivial. On the other hand, it's trivial to add encryption and authentication to a web server. We know how to do this. And even though somebody's coming at, to us at the last minute, it's, uh, it's very, very easy to steer them in the right direction even at that late time. So we've created three different services that address how to deal with these problems. Mm -hmm. The first is what we call a security design consultation. Okay. That we is terrible. It's like we invented the idea of a security design consultation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first is a security design consultation. And that's where somebody is ahead of the game and they're, they're taking us into that development process with sufficient time to, to sort of steer that boat okay. before they have an opportunity to, to steer that boat before uh, they make those implementation decisions and go down a path that's very expensive for them to, to, to back out of. Which is the ideal case. <laughs> right. Right, so we really want to have people engage us for a design consultation prior to really any other type of review. Mm -hmm. Now, they may not have 
uh, made all those implementation decisions so we can help them um, they may not have gone down the functional spec uh, and they may not have implemented anything yet. Their decisions may still be in the air. Uh, and they may come to us for advice and say, we've got three options. Which of these three should we go with? And, and then we can provide that, that advice and direct them down that path. After a security design consultation, we have a security design review. Mm. Some projects don't engage us until the security design review portion, which makes it a little more challenging since we haven't had a chance to do some of that back work that, that helps direct that ship. A security design review is that last chance for us to look at the implementation of a project.